<laughs> it reminds me of that face that people do when they're like shocked slash disgusted at what somebody said. Like, okay. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me and Dan Dan to run through some photos as part of our Roasty Toasty feature. Now there will be a disclaimer come up on the screen. Please read it thoroughly. Basically the disclaimer is gonna say that everybody who submitted their pictures for this are absolutely okay with being 110% roasted in the most brutal way possible. Sadly, I'm not very good at doing that. Some things that some people have submitted are apparently completely satire and as a joke. But as, as far as I know, I've not seen anything that Dan is gonna bring up on the screen here. So Dan is gonna bring up the pictures one by one. I'm gonna give, well, you'll see my initial reaction to it. And I'm either gonna decide whether we're gonna roast it it worked. Or whether we're gonna to toast to it and because again, this is a work day and it's like, I don't know, 11 something in the morning, I, I'm, I'm gonna just be roasting it with a cup of my very favorite, Yorkshire You've tea. You've done it again. Did I say roast instead of toast? Yes, no. yes you did. You roasted it with that and then you went on about toasting and, like, and I'm gonna roast it with my cup of tea. Well, it is really roasty though, because it's warm, isn't it? Well, yeah, but that would be toasty, wouldn't it? Like, because you get toasted yeah. by the fire, you don't right. get toasted by the fire. Shush, 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 now. <laughs> this is what I get when I'm right, guys. Shush, 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 shush. No one needs to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I do apologise. I get my roast and my toast mixed up. I won't when I'm looking at the thingy, probably, but I'm going to toast to it with a mug of my very favourite Yorkshire tea. Was that better? That was. Are you fun. satisfied? Merely. Please, can you bring up the first creator's image on the screen? Oh, I really like this, actually. I do. So I feel like I am going to toast it, but I've got some roasty parts. So am I, is that okay? I love the eye. The reflections in the eye. I can see other camels happening in the eyeball. And I, I'm just totally here for that. Can I toast? Yeah, of course you can. Toasty toast. Sip of tea. Who knew that we'd be toasting so soon? I would definitely go ahead and put this on a fridge magnet. However, the reason why I wouldn't go ahead and put it on the wall is because of the massive amount of highlights that we have going on in the top left and the top of the image and also on the nose. So all of that part that's lit by the full sun is overexposed to the point where it looks like we just don't have any detail there at all. I do believe the creator has tried to pull that back down because it's a little bit muddy is what we'd say but there's still the telltale signs that that was way 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 too overexposed. So unfortunately it's not going to go on a wall for me. What the creator could do next time is just reduce the exposure a little bit and and basically exposed for the highlights that would happen in the scene because it looks like it's a little bit harsh light happening from the left side but that being said all things considered i do really like it compositionally i probably would come in and take the eye on the left out personally because the eye on the right is where the story is happening but i really like it totally wasn't expecting it love a camel go for it <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine Tuna doing this. Yeah, this is very Tuna, Tuna like. Um, I still think it's fun though. Have I gone soft in my old age? What is it with you and like trying to be old today? What? Early on in a conversation, it was like back in the day. Back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, you see, the thing for me is that uh, everything's a bit wonky. We're a bit, as we would say in England, on the piss, uh, in that we're a bit drunk because we're a bit like tipping out the side. Uh, and, and, and that's a bit dis disconcerting. Um, it's, it's not good. It's, I mean, it could go on a fridge magnet, but for me, this one is going to be a roast because I do feel like we're getting there, like we're, we're close to get in a really solid shot, but this one for me just isn't it. The focal point, the part where the focus is, is right on the end of the nose, like right on the very, very end, like the little tippy tippy of the lips there. Mm -hmm. And and so what that means is that we lose kind of a bit of everything else. I think if the, the focus had been on the eye, or eyes, um, then what we would have is the gate would be a little bit blurry, so we wouldn't be too distracted by that and the big metal bolt at the side of the parts of the rust. And we would also have the fall off backwards to the wonky house in the background. What? The wonky house. It's a wonky. It's a donkey house. 
Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I'd like to also give the creator credit for their color harmony in the image because there's a red gate and a red roof, and I feel like that does bring it in together. Although super bright pink thing. I think it's a flag. Is it top left? A little bit distracting for me up there. But yeah, that's really it on this one. Could we move on, please, Daniel? Oh, I mean, it's a happy little dog, isn't it? Yeah. That tongue's huge. The tongue is very big. That tongue is absolutely... Oh, do you want to have a go? Yeah, I'm... Are you roasting or you toasting and you putting it on a fridge magnet? I personally wouldn't put it on a fridge magnet. But I think if I was the owner of the dog, and this was an image of my dog, I would potentially put it on a fridge magnet, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, a couple of things for me is... <laughs> don't be like... Right. Do you want me to sit in this party or just be like, gone? Go on, continue, yeah, Daniel. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, okay, but I will. But also the background is super blown out. There is no detail in the sky yeah. or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's completely gone. Yeah. And the subject looks a little bit blue. Yeah, we've got a white balance issue and, a, and a, an exposure difference issue. You've exposed for the subject in the shade, which is fine. However, there is not shade also in the image, so it's just way overexposed and it's super distracting. There is a tree coming right out the middle of the dog's head and some trees happening in the background. But I just want to give credit because we're not too tight, realistically speaking. No. There's some elements that I'm like, you know, let's go for it. We do have attention from the subject. Mm -hmm. The ears are nicely forward. The positioning is good. The dog doesn't look worried or scared or afraid, which does tend to happen in, in a lot of people's photographs that we see. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's glimmers of, why am I, I'm, I'm being too soft, aren't I? I don't know. I don't, I just think that it, it's not all bad. No, no. There are good aspects to it. And, and it just, Like yeah. down at eye level as well. Oh yeah, exactly. So uh, the horizon going straight through the dog's head is something we could try and avoid next time. Why am I doing this so nicely? Okay, let's go next one. I'm going to be more brutal. I'm going to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> what were you expecting from that? I would like know. this. I'm, I'm trying to work out like what's going on because it's almost, if you take the actual scene out of the way, it's almost like they're hanging out of a car window, okay. but there's no car window there. There's something about this that I do actually really like. There's so many things that technically aren't correct, like the fact the horizon goes straight through the neck and the head, and the fact that there's a massive harness in the shot, which isn't, you know, ideal if we're being, if we're going for the wall, we maybe wouldn't have the harness on. No. But that being said, I could actually use quite a lot of things to justify why there's so much space to the side, why the crop goes straight through the subject. It's 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 very like on edge and I feel like we could justify that in certain situations. Will it win a print comp? Probs not. Will it win a big award? Probably not. But would it do well in a magazine as an ad? Yes. Yeah. Would it do well as a front cover of a of an editorial thing for the harness and the ball? Yes. Like there's there's elements of this that I really like. I think the colour's great, the saturation's good, it's not overprocessed. There's loads to like about this, so screw it. You probably submitted this as a joke, whoever it was, but I'm gonna roast uh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna toast to it. I'm gonna toast to it. I'm so sorry. I will get them the right way around. Can we please toast? Because there's just, I don't, is it because I've been doing, doing loads of the marketing design stuff recently that I'm now, I'm not in art world, I'm in commercial world. I could make this into an absolutely banging full page ad in you a magazine, do, yeah. like definitely could. Um, I could just have a feeling that the eyes aren't in focus, but I, I can't tell from this far away. The eyes are soft. Mm. The, the eyes are soft. It looks like Focus has grabbed the, the nose. I, I'd guesstimate as a guesstimation. What are you pressing? All sorts of buttons. I mean, I think it's a really good shot for the photo album from your time away. Yeah. Look where we hiked. We hiked to the top of this hill, which basically to me is a freaking mountain. Probably is a mountain, to be honest. Um, and look what we did. I think you, your actual control over the dynamic range, I will give props for. Doesn't look like there's loads of blown out stuff, but we also have things in the shade. And there's black parts on the dog, which look like they're well controlled. So I feel like those, those things are good. However, does it? do I want to put it on a wall? Probably not. The horizon is off going downhill quite massively to the right. It's going like down on the right. 
um, even though the object that the subject's on is straight, there's that tilt happening in the horizon, which is a bit unnerving. Very the, tight at the bottom. It is, there is not enough room for this dog to stand. Its little clawy claw is right on the edge of the frame and the random tree in the top right, um, that part is super distracting and like flying over in that direction. Um, it's, I, I don't feel like it's like horrend, like, I don't know. You'd put it in your photo album from your holiday, it'd be on your phone. Yeah. From having like a fun time away. Would we put it on a fridge, fridge magnet? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think it's another one of them, isn't it? Where if it's your if dog. If it's your dog. And you've taken it. Yeah. It just looked like this, the uh, photographer used off camera flash though. It does, yeah. Or some form of a light source. And that light source was a little bit too close to camera level. It needed to be higher up. Do you know what, screw it? Yes. Let's, let's continue. Aww. I quite like that. Are we allowed to use... Can I use the crop tool? This one's on the piss as well. Why is everyone pissed? Everyone's drunk. We're all off wonky, which is fine, because, I mean, that's what I'm like. Not pissed. Wonky. Most of the time. Um, can we just grab the crop tool? Why? I just... Bay horse, top right. Yeah. Not required. I like it so much more now. Yeah, I see what you've done there. Now I have a story. <laughs> yeah. And there's a moment. Mm -hmm. And we've captured it. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the trees in the background. I ain't no photographer, but they don't look... That's because someone's tried really hard to do a sky replacement. Right, okay. Yeah, that's that part. Sorry but for it, my naivety. That just In the sky replacement section, it just needs to like feather the edge a bit more than it would be... Yeah, okay. I'd put it on a fridge magnet if it was my own animal. Yeah. But that's as far as this is going to go. We're a little bit on the piss, a little bit wonky. And um, the, the I'd, I'd like more of the story. Like, I'd like you to go around a bit more on the angle to get more of the moment. Because at the moment, we can just see the horse looking gorgeous. Mm -hmm which he, she does. The neck looks fantastic. Um, so we've got lots of things to like there, but that's about it. Are you toasting? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle. I mean, it's mm. Are you going to heat your tea up? Yeah. It reminds me of that face that people do when they're like shocked slash disgusted at what somebody said. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you did the impression and not me. Did I get it? Your turn. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I see I. I want to. I want to toast it That's because it's so funny. But it's gonna have to be a roast, um, just because of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being too soft, aren't I? Uh, mm, mm -hmm. For me, if this has been submitted as a comical roast, you're gonna get a toast off that. Because yeah, it's really, absolutely yeah. It. <laughs> it's, a really, it's a good satire one. Oh, I think that's quite cute. Yeah. I do think it's cute. I do. I think it's really nice. Check the focus, please. Ah, oh, damn it. Just a bit soft, unfortunately. So this one for me is going to have to be a roast, even though there's lots of things that we can like about it. Burn. Um, <laughs> Brutal. No, I didn't mean the pit. I don't, don't mean... <laughs> Daniel. Okay, so first things first, focus is in a weird place. I feel like it's front focused. The nose is actually sharper than the eyes, but then it's also a bit strange because the chest looks really sharp as well. So it's like a little bit hit and miss. However, positioning of the subject is quite cute. I like the bail. We've got foreground, midground, we do have background. However, you've blurred the background and it's not a natural blur. So it's it's messing with my head. So you've got sharp, fl sharp fluffy bokeh bits in the middle and then you've got really blurry blo bokeh bits right at the edge so you put like this blur happening around the back and that now is really distracting but the main thing is that the white balance is way off on this one definitely need to choose the two sliders trick which i can link to above to uh, just basically equalize off because the, the the subject is is so blue but really adorable subject i wish we had attention at the face 
and I like the fact that you've got a catch light in both eyes, so I think well done for that. Okay. Would you like to do one more? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice moment, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to toast to this one. All right, before I commit, focus check, please. You knew exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. It's, it's well-controlled highlights for a golden. I'm, I'm getting a little bit tense about that top of that head, not going to lie. But, but, the moment's really nice. I love the framing. We've got foreground frame happening. We've got good separation to the background. The butterfly, it looks realistic even though I would imagine it was added afterwards. Can we give the creator top points if and only if there is a butterfly reflection in the eye? I don't think there is, is there? No, I don't think so. Could have got more points on that. Also, just whilst we're zooming all the way in, little bits of stray hairs could just come out, neaten the situation up on the schnozzle. We've got a little golden retriever hair coming down there. The rain I'm fine with. It fits the mood, it also fits the white balance. The only thing I wish we had was a little bit more framing fluff to the right hand side. So not to change the crop, not to make the right wider, but just to basically make that area of high contrast of that stick stem coming out on the right, to just soften that back a little bit more. And then for me, it, I, I, I feel like I would be more, more inclined to be more attached to it. But I think that was a good one. Mm, I agree. It's good expression sure, from the play. subject, good expression. Right, guys, that's it. We're not doing any more today. I need to take a break. If you would like your image to go through the roasty toasty process, then please, 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 but please do go ahead and find the link in the description below where you can find the submission form. You will have to sign your life away for these pictures. Basically, say that you're okay with us roasting them if we're going to roast them, that you can take the heat, and that you're not going to have some form of internal combustion about the situation and that you're not going to pursue legal situations if we roast your picture which is basically what everybody else who submitted up till now have done so it'd be nice to have some more pictures thrown into the mix for this any subject counts doesn't even have to be like living don't fuck off dead stuff someone's gonna aren't they please now don't. that you've said it yeah please open please yourself up to that i don't want to have I anything that's gonna no no yeah. of what roadkill badger Oh, because of Jeremy. <laughs> Everyone needs to watch Clarkson's Farm. It's hilarious. Anyway, so yeah, that is it for Roasty Toasty. See you, bye.